Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, class. Hello, Good hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome, welcome back. Please, let have your cameras on so we can see each other. How are you, class? Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you, too? You know, I'm pretty good very, today. Very good. Very good today. Hey. Okay. Just give me one second. Let me see. Okay, I'm ready now. How are you, class? Are you good today? Is it raining there where you live or not? Está lloviendo ahí donde viven or not? Yes. 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 Oh, sí, aquí está lloviendo. Tormenta cayó aquí, teacher. No, no, no. Here. Imagine. Bien, let's start. What class is this one? Is this class number four, five, six? Okay. Number five. Number five. It's class number five. Week number two. Did you complete the exercises from section one and two? Yes. yes. And section three, four, five. Three, four, and five. This is Nelly Lee. Now come on. Yes. Just section one and two. Sí, ya la terminé todo. También, sí, alguien más. Ya ve, ya ve, ya ve. ¿Quién fue? ¿Quién fue? ¿Quién fue? ¿Quién fue? Jueves en la noche ya terminó también. Sí. Ya revisó. ¿Cómo vamos con el progreso? Sí, y es. Hubo alguien más que el jueves en la noche terminó las cinco secciones. And I was like, oh my God, these guys. But that's really nice, you know? Elvis, por Dios, no deja esa cara. I remember from week number one. Hablemos, we Elvis, one hablemos. Two, that's it. Week one, okay. we have section one and two, and that's it. But if you want to continue with all with the, the rest of the exercises, of course, you can do it. Uh, Section number three. What is the topic for section number three? Let's go and check. Here we have the vocabulary for today. Esperemos a sus compañeros. Faltan algunos. ¿Qué pasó ahora? ¿Será porque es lunes? Hey, en el grupo de WhatsApp hay alguien que está pidiendo el link. No sé quién es. Really, el enlace. Bueno, si se lo Otra pueden compartir. Se... Ya, ya lo dieron. Ya. ya se lo dieron. Gracias. Ya me metí, gracias. Okay. Ah, me tira. Y hubo alguien más que se disculpó y que no va a poder entrar, no sé okay. quién está. Please. Dice que está mal de salud, pero... Si pueden chequear, saben que a veces, eh, porque estoy de clase en clase, no puedo revisar el chat inmediatamente, hasta después de clase. So, me disculpo si alguna vez les respondo hasta las 10 de la noche, pero <risa> es por eso, that's why. Class number... Five. Five. Let me check the topic for today. In previous class, we were talking about prepositions of time. ¿Se acuerdan de las prepositions of time? Repasemos. What are the prepositions of time that we were practicing in the previous class? At, in, on. At, in, on. Excellent, Emerson. At, in, on. What time is your English class from Monday to Thursday? What time is your English class? Monday. From Monday to Thursday, the lunes a jueves. What time is your English class? Yes. The night at, at, at 9 p.m. Night at 10. One more time. At 9 p.m. From? From 9, from 9 to 10 p.m. to 10 p.m. From 9 to 10. Excellent. From 9 to 10. Two. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? In, on, or at? Uh, my birthday is in November. In. in. It's in November. Is it something on. specific? It's, it's in March. It's in May. It's in it's May. In May. Be specific, please. When is your birthday? Give me it's more information. 
It's on May what? Um, no. In my case, my birthday is on July 18th. When is your birthday? On Marbay, March 12th. November. November 12th. Excellent. It's on March. 11 March. March 11th. Okay, or the 12th of November. Me gusta también esa forma. March 11th. On January 26th. January 26th. Excellent pronunciation, Andre. Excellent. Don't forget Thank to you. practice ordinal numbers. La pronunciación de los ordinal numbers nos sirven para dar fechas. Practice ordinal numbers. Very good. Class number five. Section number three. How much is it? How much is it? For this class, we are going to talk about demonstratives and expressions one and once. This is class number five, pre-intermediate one. And this is the teacher's name in case that you don't remember my name. Okay, here we go. How much is it? Where have you heard this question? ¿A dónde han escuchado esta pregunta o para qué? How much is it? Cuando compramos, cuando okay. vamos a comprar. Okay, when we go to buy or. ¿Qué más? How much is it? How much is it? Solo para eso lo, compramos, lo, lo ocupamos, para cuando vamos a comprar. Será lo mismo para consultar precio. O oh, también, ok, entra en nuestra categoría. Con ask for prices, consultar precios. The most Let's see. Let's go to the platform so we can check the vocabulary for today. This is a very interesting topic. Remember that whenever we go and we want to get a product we need to ask for prices, or most of the time, we need to ask for price. Here we go. Let me look for your group. ¿Cuál estamos? Principiante uno, ¿verdad? No, teacher. ¿Qué grupo están ustedes? Pre-intermedio. Pre 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 ¿Qué es eso, principiante? Ya pasó, teacher. Come on. Free ya, ya vamos a hacer un repaso a ver si se acuerdan del pre el principiante uno. Ay, no. Oh, el to be. No. Bird to be. <laughs> yeah, bird to be is one of the, the topics from that, that course. Okay, section number three. How much is it? Here we go. Okay, give me one second. Wait, creo que voy a cerrar algunas aplicaciones porque está muy lento. Bien, let me try. Veamos si esta vez no se me corta. Section number three, how much is it? Excellent. When we want to talk about prices, we are going to use this type of vocabulary. Here we go. Let's start with a conversation. I guess we are not going to practice the conversation, but this is going to give us an idea on how to ask for prices or how to give comments about products in general. Here we go, let's listen. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow 
Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Let's go back to the conversation. What is this conversation Hi, about? We're now in Who section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. Okay, here we go. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. What is the name of for this conversation? Who can tell me? What is the topic for this conversation? E for earrings. Earrings. What is the title or the topic for the conversation? They are perfect, perfect for you. you. They are perfect for you. When what are they talking about? Cuando dicen they are, they are perfect for you. Are they talking about yes. shoes, food, or what is the main topic of this about the earrings? About earrings. Earrings. Exactly. earrings. Earrings. Whose birthday is it? Is this this men's birthday or these girls? Birthday. It's girls. It's girls. Girl. Girl. Ah, Bird. Earrings. Earrings. Where are they at this moment? Where are they? In a jewelry store. Okay, really. Maybe. We can say they are in a jewelry store. Okay, my from the city in a department store. Do you remember what is this? A department store. ¿Qué era eso? Gran almacén. Tienda de departamento. No, tienda por departamentos. Una tienda have... departamental. Sí, man is a department store. And inside of the big store, we have like those yeah. department store. In this case, mm -hmm. the jewelry. Mm -hmm. Like that is specific. Que está adentro, está adentro del almacén grande. Exactly. Si mine is like the big, the whole place. And there, inside yes. of the place, we have those department stores. Exactly. They are at this department store. And Steve is asking, or Steve wants to give a present for this girl. We don't know who Maria is, but he's trying to get a present for this girl. And the conversation goes like this. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones. Look at this question. These red this ones. Way. No. The yellow ones. Red ones, yellow ones. Look at this expression. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. $42. Ooh, that's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. So in the end, what is this girl's birthday present? ¿Qué se llevó de regalo entonces? The earrings. 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 Blue ones. The earrings Blue or necklace. the necklace? Ah, the necklace. The necklace. Are not the earrings. ¿Por qué no se llevó los earrings? Any that, idea? Era, she she didn't like it. Like it. Because she doesn't like, like the color. She doesn't really like the color. So that's why Steve is giving another chance or another option. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one. The expressions in the red boxes. Miren las expresiones en las red boxes. Red ones, yellow ones, which ones and blue ones. Vamos a utilizar esos 
esas expressions in this class today. Want, want and want. I really like this what conversation. What is the difference wants and wants? Um, it's just that the expression one is used for singular and ones is for plural. Así okay. es. Mm -hmm. That is the difference. Uno, unas. Uno y unas. Let's see. Let's see. We have the next video so we can practice. In English, whenever we want to ask about places or whenever we are using this type of conversations, it is very useful to use demonstratives. What are the demonstratives? ¿Cuáles son los pronombres demonstrativos in English? Look at the picture. This, this, that, those. ¿Qué significan? Este, esto, este. esa, esto, esto. No, vámonos en orden. El primero, this. Este. 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 este, este, very good. These, estos, 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 o estos, 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 estos. that, eso, 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 eso o aquel, eso, eso, es porque está lejos, aquel. ah, está lejos, Vamos, sí. allá. Ambos, uh -huh. okay. Those. Aquellos. 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 So what is the difference? Different is that whenever we have objects that are near in singular, we are going to use expression or the demonstrative pronoun this. Whenever we have plural, or more than one object, we are going to use the expression these for objects that are near. If we talk about a singular or one object that is not close, we need to use the expression that to be specific. And we also have the expression those for plural object or for plural items that are not close to us. But let's listen to the explanation. Here we go. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns, this, these, that, those, to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Prices forty two dollars fifty nine ninety five or fifty nine dollars and ninety five cents. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four this, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This singular near, these plural near, that singular far those plural far therefore we use is for this and that and are for these and those in english we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option for example i ask is that your car which one the red one or the blue one the red one yes it okay let me stop here here we have like the second part of this class. The first part, it's about demonstratives. Ya lo repasamos, okay? 
But now the expressions, these are expressions, one and ones, that we are going to use these ones whenever we need to pick or to choose when having more than one option. En otras palabras, one se ocupa para reemplazar al sujeto, one or ones, también lo podemos utilizar o para resaltar la opción que hemos elegido. Choosing, uy, está en rojo, no me funciona. ¿Qué color lo pongo? Negro, aquí está, mira. Cuando escogemos o tenemos más de una opción. Is that your car? Is that your car? ¿Es ese tu carro? ¿Cuál? Which one? The red one or the blue one? El rojo o el azul? Si los traducimos, ya no tiene significado o ya no es incluido en la expresión. El rojo o el azul? But in English, because we are making a choice between two colors, we are going to be specific. Which one? The red one or the blue one? Ah, the red one. This is similar if I ask you, what is your favorite color? The red or the blue one? What is your favorite, which is your favorite color in this case? The what is your color one. favorite? The red. Red. Red, the red blue. Color. Okay, red and blue. Ya tengo claro. Pero si le soy específico, what is your favorite t-shirt color? The red one or the blue one? What do you prefer, class? The red one or the blue one? The red one. The red one. The red one. My favorite t-shirt, the red one. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre estas dos preguntas? T-shirt color. Porque ambas tienen un significado similar, pero no es el mismo. Number one and number two. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? What is your favorite t-shirt color and which is your favorite t-shirt color? La primera le pregunta que cuál es el color favorito, bueno, cuál es el color favorito de la okay. camisa. And y la segunda. segunda es... Hola. Le da a escoger. Yes, I'm listening, Andrés. Yeah. Sí, Go la otra le da a escoger. Excellent, that's it. En la primera, mi respuesta es libre, es en general. What is your favorite t-shirt color? Y ustedes pueden pronunciar o decirme red, black, yellow, purple, any color. I do not know the answer. Yo no sé su respuesta. I'm expecting to get an answer for you. Pero en la segunda, which is your favorite t-shirt color? ¿Les doy opciones? Sí. The red one or the blue one. Whenever I am going to use which, it's because I am going to give people options. Miren, siempre que ocupe which, les voy a dar opciones de respuesta. No espero que ustedes elijan su propia o otra respuesta que esté fuera de mis opciones. Which is your favorite tissue color? The red one or the blue one. That's it. Está clara esta parte. Which one? Which one? Yes. yes. That's why. O sea, que... el ejemplo? Yes, tell me. Teacher, o sea, que la primera opción es, es libre de, re, de poner cualquier respuesta, That's cualquier it. color. Uh -huh. En cambio, la segunda solamente nos da dos opciones o en dado caso serían tres opciones. Exactly. 
pero tenemos que responder ¿Cómo? usando cualquiera de mis opciones. No puedo responder fuera de eso. Ok, entonces podría ser my which fav favorite t-shirt is red. Can you repeat that, please? O sea, para responder, podría ser una respuesta corta o una respuesta larga. My favorite... Um, no incluye. The shirt. Ah, ok, eso quería preguntar. No incluye el which. No, which es solo okay. parte de la pregunta. Recordemos que es, es parte una... de la pregunta. Ok. Which word. Uh -huh. Yes. Dicho Entonces solamente. Sería siempre igual, ¿verdad? My favorite cambia. shirt es co pregunta. color is. Ok. Estaba ausente. Ah, ok, don't worry. Welcome to the class. Bien, Ale, listo. Sure. Yes, Fernando has a question, please. Eh, entonces, en español, esa pregunta, ¿cómo sonaría? Ambas con sonarían which? con cuál. Ambas sería, bueno, what sería qué o cuál. Uh -huh. Y which también okay. sería cuál. Solo que la diferencia es uh -huh. que estoy dando opciones. That's it. Ok. Which es como you. decir, ¿cuál prefieres? Eh, ¿La roja o la azul? Perfecto. Con what? Which? Pero con which? O oh, con what? Hay opción abierta. Hay opción abierta, exacto. You are going to give me your examples. For example, eh, ¿cuáles prefieren? Which one do you prefer more? iPhones or Huawei? You see? Ninguno de los dos. Any of those. So, which one is Samsung? Xiaomi. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. No, Samsung. Oh, Samsung. No, Xiaomi. Okay. Which one do you prefer? Pepsi or Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. Toda la vida, la Coca. Coca. Coca-Cola. Which one, Adicto a la Coca. Yeah, which one do you water, prefer? Water. 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 Coca-Cola. Water. Water. Coca -Cola. Which one okay, do you prefer? I don't know. I don't know. Which one do you prefer? Um, tacos or pupusas? Pupusas. 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 Okay. Only pupusas, right? No tacos. I like pupusas. Which ones do you prefer? <laughs> ¿Cuál prefieren? Okay. Which one do you prefer more? I really, I really like it. pupusas. We love pupusas. We love pupusas. We don't like them. We, we love, love pupusas. pupusas. <laughs> right, exactly. Entonces ahí sería uh, pupusas What? ones. What? Eh, no, si se ahí sería which. Porque which? no les estoy en sí enfatizando o mi pregunta no lleva ones. En este caso es categoría en general. No puedo decir de pupusas once, eh, de Coca-Cola once, right? Pero si usted quiere decir pupusas de frijol con queso o pupusas solo de queso, <risa> ahí sí están las opciones. <risa> <risa> That is one. Exactly. But if I'm being wow, it, Emerson. No, that's true. Como les dije, si es la categoría okay. en general, we don't use once. Because I'm not being specific. Pero si ya digo, exactly, ¿qué prefieren las revueltas o las de queso? Now we can use the expression one or once. Very good. For example, let's talk about pizza. Which one do you prefer? The pepperoni ones or... Um, ¿Qué otra tenemos? Jamón. Jamón. Hongos. 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 How do you say hongos in Hawaii? Es carne. Me. Ahí sí, porque I'm being specific. Ahí soy específica, se ocupo one and one. But don't worry, we have some exercises so we can practice about the use of ones and ones. Very good. But we are going to Used expressions to talk about prices. Vamos a prices ahorita. 
look at the, the examples that we have. How much is it? How much are these or those? Singular and plural. It depends on what you're going to get. If you're going to get just one product, of course you're going to use how much is. Un producto, un objeto. Is, because this is singular. But if you're going to use more than what product or object you're going to use, are. And we have the examples here. How much is this? This shirt. shirt, or we can also say how much is this one? Esta. Esta camisa o esta. Second example. Cesar, can you help me out to read? Le damos los ejemplos, Cesar. This. How much are these sneakers? Mm -hmm. How much are these? These. Very good. ¿Cuánto valen estos? Glenda. Please. Aquí vamos. Perdón. That t-shirt. Uh -huh. That one. Those sneakers dos. Uh -huh. That t-shirt. O podemos decir. That one. Those sneakers, those. We can also have these ones. Cristelia, please. Read this example. Which ones? The blue ones. It's 28. Um, no, only the information in the uh, red box. Okay, which one? The blue ones. Which one? The gray ones. The gray ones. Very good job. Which one? The blue one. Because we're talking about one shirt. Hablamos de un solo producto. ¿Cuál? Ocupamos one. Porque es un singular. Shirt. T-shirt. But of course, if we're talking about shoes or sneakers, we need to emphasize that this is a plural noun and we need to use the expression once. These sneakers, those sneakers, which ones? The gray ones, okay? Which one, which one? Let me explain this to you. Whenever we want to express saying prices in English. ¿Cómo expresamos precios en inglés? If you want to sound natural, si quieren sonar natural, there are only two expressions in English that we need to <laughs> memorize or understand. It is and it was. It is, it is and it was. If we want to express in English exact prices, exact prices, we are just going to say the numbers. For example, how much is it? It is ten dólares. Cuando somos exactos en precio, ahí sí pronunciamos al final dólares. But if we are not exact in the price, we are going to do the same. ¿Se acuerdan cómo leíamos los años en inglés? Los leíamos en parejas. Two and two. Hagamos lo mismo con precios. How much is it? It's 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 10 99 or it is. Eso sí siempre va. It's 
1999. 1999. Así tiene ¿Y que ¿Y el was? ¿Cuándo va? Ok, ya vamos a decir cuándo va el was. It's 1099. Second example. How much is it? It's 250. It's 250. 50. 2 dólares con 50. 250. How much is it, class? It's. It's twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars. How much is it? It's twenty Pero qué si ya tengo centavos. Look. How much is it? It's ten fifty-five. How much is it? One fifty. How much is it? Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. How much is it? It is ninety nine ninety nine. Ninety nine ninety nine. It's not one hundred. It's ninety nine ninety nine. That's it. What about yeah. if I only have cent? ¿Y qué si solo tengo Cents. It is 50 cents. Ah, 50 hago lo mismo que con los dólares. Cuando tengo centavos ahí, sí. Soy específica. Specific about cents. If 50, it's 50 cents. cents. It's 50 cents. cents. Muy bien. Más ejemplos con centavos. How much is it? Uh -huh. It is 99 cents. It's 99 cents. How much is it? 25 cents. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. 75. Seventy-five cents. How about if I have prices that they go up? En este caso, lo leo de dos en dos también, o cómo lo leería? Let me listen to you. It is one hundred eighty-seven. It is one hundred eighty-seven. Very good. It's one hundred eighty-seven. And 42. And 42. Mm. Muy bien, ¿no? Está claro, si queremos sonar naturales, así se lee. Never, please, never, you are going to say the price is $10.99. And and no. No, no, no. No digamos the price is. Decimos it. It. Never say the cost is or the cost was now it's not natural or i pay the money i pay the quantity pagué la cantidad de i pay the money now eso sería traducir muy literal del español and we don't want to sound in that way so when do we use was cuando utilizamos was entonces Yes. Por ejemplo, en ofertas well, pasadas. El era de. Okay. Es eh, la simple no sé. respuesta, you know. 
pienso de que it is es como preguntar en el momento. Ah, más, muy bien, es igual. Como, ya lo, como que ya lo compré. ¿Cuánto, cuánto me costó? Ajá, muy bien, muy excelente. That's it. No era tan difícil la respuesta. Imaginemos que eh, yo compré un nuevo teléfono. ¿Qué me preguntarían? ¿How much is it? Or how much it was? How much, how much it was. It was. Yes, exactly. ¿Por qué? Porque ella lo compró, ella ya lo compró. ¿Pero qué es estoy en la tienda en el momento exacto? How much is it? Is it? Or how much are these? How much are those? Questions about this explanation. Sería, sería correcto entonces decir How much was your glasses, teacher? Glasses is a word in plural. Glasses siempre va a ir en plural en inglés. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? How much? Where? How much were where glass? your glasses? Your glasses. How much were your, your glasses? glasses. Uh -huh. Igual con zapatos, shoes. ¿Cómo preguntaría? How much is it? O how much are these? This. These. Are these. Are, are, because we're this. talking about shoes. Plural. Mm -hmm. Let's go to practice. Practiquemos ahorita asking about prices. This is the activity that we have for today. Veamos acá. What do we have here? We have expressions, well, items. Items, and we are going to ask about the prices. And we have a conversation for that. How much are? This is the first example. How much are these boots? Which ones? The brown ones. They are 99 and 50. That's expensive. Cuando vamos a utilizar want y cuando vamos a utilizar want? Recuerden. Singular, plural. From the example. Tengo plural, miren, boots. Tengo dos pares de botas. And then I have some caps. And I have, what are these, class? ¿Qué son estos? Glasses. Son glasses. Son glasses. Son glasses. Entonces, ¿para cuál voy a utilizar one y para cuál es ones? Para las botas. One. One. Both. Both. Use ones. Both. Ones. Um, for for sunglasses. Sunglasses. Uh, one. 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 That's One. That's One. 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 That's One. 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 Or that's expensive. Veamos si podemos armar nuestra conversación. Edgardo. Veamos, preguntemos sobre las botas. Okay, how much are these books? Which one, Edgardo? The brown, the brown ones. Uh, they are 95 and 50. That's expensive. Okay, excellent job. Gabriela Lisette. How much are these boots? Boots. Boots. Which ones? The beige ones. Oh, uh, they are 75 and 50. That's cheap. Oh, really? Very good job. <laughs> Elvis. Red. Uh, how much are these sunglasses? Which ones? Uh, the red ones. They are $250.50. and That's expensive. <laughs> this is really, that's expensive, okay. Andre. Andrea, ask me about these ones. 
How much are these cups? Uh, which ones? Uh, the blue ones. Um, they are twenty-five dollars. Um, that's reasonable. Okay, excellent. But if you see, si queremos preguntar solo por una, preguntemos solo por una. Let me have Fatima, Fatima Esmeralda, just one. Okay, Irma, Irma Raquel, please. How much is this cup? Very good job. Which one? The blue. The blue ones, the blue one. The blue one. It is $13.50. That's expensive. That's expensive, okay. Interesting. Let's take the time to go and practice with your classmates. Vamos a practicar con sus compañeros. Asking and giving prices. ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Is it clear what we are going to do? Right. Yes, yes. 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 yes, it's clear. Yes. Uno pregunta, el otro responde. Uno pregunta, el otro responde. That's it. Practiquemos en parejas. Puede poner la imagen antes, antes de irnos a los break room para tomarle yes. una fotito. I'm going to send it. La voy a enviar ahorita. Don't you worry. Vamos al chat. Uh, okay. Y ya la pongo también. Don't worry. Let me see. There we go. Let's work in pairs so you can ask your classmates about prices and also using those expressions. No se olviden de usar esas expresiones. That's expensive, that's cheap, that's okay, that's reasonable. Here we go. Vamos clase, let's start working right now. Okay, I'm just missing Gladys, Brian, Iris, Edwin, Jasmine, Cristelia. There we go. Hi, Irma. ¿Qué pasó, Irma? La sacó. Me sacó. Veamos, probemos en otra sala. Let's go to room number four. Hola, teacher. Hello, Edwin. 
y este, estoy teniendo problemas, está una tormenta muy fuerte aquí en, en, en Honduras y este, también no tengo WhatsApp por el momento, se me desinstaló, bueno, really? se desinstaló, ya no pude instalar. Mm -hmm. eh, ok, don't worry. Medida. Yes, tell okay. me. No, dígame Edwin, perdón por interrumpirlo, dígame. Y es que porque no, no tengo ahorita el medio para comunicarme por, por, por WhatsApp. Todavía ah, no puedo. Vale. En la medida de lo posible lo haré. Perfecto. No se preocupe. Cuando volvamos, vamos a presentar el ejercicio para que pueda verlo. Ok. Don't okay, worry. Gracias. You're welcome. No me sale. Did you finish? Yes, estábamos hablando de las expresiones que salen ahí a la parte de mí. Ah, perfecto, great. Cheap eh. es barato o caro. Yes, cheap is the opposite of expensive. Barato. Ah, that's cheap. Uh -huh. Muy bien, chicas. So. Si ya terminamos, vámonos a la sala principal, please. Let's go back. Ok. Ok, time to come back. Did you have time to practice? What happened, Ana Karina? Did you have a problem? Yes, right. Sí, se me desconectan. I know, I know. So before we continue, let me go and check the attendance list. Teacher, ¿por qué me hizo eso? ¿Qué quiere hice? Me dejó solo en no break the room. No, siempre le asignó a alguien, pero sus, para sus compañeros no entran. Yo no sé por qué, chicas. Why? No, estaba en la sala 11, igual don Carlos estaba en la 10 y como que cuando vio que no estaba ninguno nos unió los dos. <risa> No worry. Chicos, saben que por eso no me gusta hacer parejas porque siempre hay algún problema. But don't worry. Let's check the tendencies. Y luego revisamos el ejercicio. Here we go. Aleli Concepción. Uh, present teacher. Present teacher. Ana Gabriela. No. Ana Karina. Ana Stephanie. Present. Andrea Isabel. I'm here. Brian Edwin. No. Brian Isaac. Present. Carlos Eden. I'm present. Thank you. César Alexander. Yo, Brian. Ah, ok, Brian. Vamos ahorita. César Alexander is here. I am here, teacher. Cristelia Rosalina. I am here. Daisy Magdalena. Here I am, teacher. Edgardo Antonio. I am here, teacher. Eduardo Elías. Present teacher. Edwin Ernesto. What is that? Edwin Ernesto. Present. Sorry, que están en, están en clase de cocina todavía unos alumnos. Really? They are having fun. Elvis Aníbal. Present teacher. Emerson Alexander. Present teacher. Esperanza Isabel. Fátima Esmeralda. Present teacher. Fernando Arturo. Present. Gabriela Lisset. Present teacher. Gladys Elizabeth. Present teacher. Glenda Abigail. Present teacher. Iris Elena. Here, Miss. Irma Raquel. 
present. Isabel Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jasmine Yvonne. Present teacher. Jeremías Ezequiel. Present teacher. And Jessica Janet. Okay. Bien, class. Questions about this exercise, about the vocabulary. Preguntas. Tenemos el tiempo para ustedes. Elvis, please. Sí, me quedó una duda. Ok. Si no, no voy a poder dormir. En ah, la okay. diapositiva que mostraba los ejemplos del uso de one and once. Uh -huh. uh, habían unos ahí que no me quedó claro por qué no, no llevaba once. No sé si la puede proyectar. Perfecto, ahorita. Don't worry. ¿Por qué no llevaba el once? ¿Cuál será? Which one? El plural. How much are, donde dice this sneaker? Y abajo solo dice this, no debería decir this ones. Eh, puede ser ambas, exacto. Puede ser okay. ambas opciones, that's it. Incluso si lo hablamos en singular, how much is this? How much is this one? También es aceptable. This, this ah, one. Okay. This, eh, this one. Yes. Teacher, Perfect. eso es lo que estábamos hablando con Fernando. Me decía él que cuáles podíamos ocupar para si le decía que para, podría ser this o that. That's it. Muy bien. Eso son las dos uh -huh. opciones. Nada más. Y le decía lo mismo que para el plural. Podíamos ocupar this, this and that. Ok. This and that. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y aquí está lo que les explicaba. Miren. Cómo leer o cómo expresar precios. Aquí mismo dice 99 cents. 28 dólares. ¿Por qué? Porque son exactos, precios exactos. 28, 99. Si se fijan, en ningún momento al final lleva centavos y dólares. 28 dólares, 99 cents. No. 28, 99. Ahí está lo que les he explicado. Preguntas. ¿Qué se quisiera utilizar? No dólares, sino que, let me see, euros. ¿Qué haría entonces? How do I express this? It's the same. Solo se le cambiaría. Uh -huh. Exactly. 20, so we are just euros. going to change the currency. La moneda. Currency. If I want to express in euros, gens, no sé qué otra moneda se me viene a la mente, but dollar. Bitcoin. Bitcoins, exactly. Oh, no, bit, I don't know how to express Colones. bitcoins. You know? Colones, exactly, colones. No, no se puede decir libre esterlina. Coras. Coras, no, not really. <laughs> We can say, you Muy know, coras. sí. Sí, pero teacher, mucha say. gente dice coras y realmente la palabra adecuada es quarters. Quarters, exactly, sí, quarters. Salvadoreño le cambia el nombre a la palabra. Sí, ajá. Quarters. Pero ese, you know, ese es extra vocabulario, ese vocabulario extra que también tiene que ver con el dinero. A dime. Okay. ¿Verdad, teacher? A penny, ajá. Que desde que entró la, el quarter al Salvador se llamó Cora. Yes, quarter, quarter. A dime, a penny, no, a quarter. Ya le quitaron el quarter. Y ahora es quarter. Esas son las monedas en inglés, exacto. Entonces podemos también decir que vale un... It is a nickel. It is a quarter. It is a penny and a dime. Un dime es una día diez. Un penny, un centavo. Quarter, 25 centavos en a nickel. Eh, son los cinco centavos. También se expresa en inglés así. Monedas. And of course, a dollar. It's a dollar. Pero eso ya hablando de monedas nada más. Y son exactos. Precios exactos. Ten. One cent. Twenty five cents. Five cents and a dollar. This is whenever we talk about coins. Preguntas, any other question? No questions? No questions. No questions. No questions. No questions. How clear. It's clear. 
Tomorrow we are going to continue practicing on how to ask for prices and also how to give prices as well. We are going to have different examples, different exercises. So if you don't have any other comments or questions about the topic, it means that this topic is clear and that we can finish the class right here, okay? Remember, if you have questions for the teacher, you can text me on WhatsApp or on the chat, the general group. We are going to stop the class here. I really hope you to have a great night. Thank you so much for joining today's Thank class. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Have a great night. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. 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 Good night.